Smoke from E home. There's the time walk forward. Innocence gets his smoke broken. They look over. Yao, epicenter. BKB is going to be popped. And now he's got the stun. He's not able to get into this fight. The metamorphosis is going to be popped by terribly. There's the echo time by Faith Beyond with a mystic flare on top. He's silenced up. Gets the BKB. There's the Sunder on a Faith Beyond. Chronosphere comes out on the two. The Burrow Strike lands. Yao gets the kill on a Faith Beyond. He's going to be the first one to die with the, the buyback being used. BKBs have run out. Now he home on the run. The waning rift hitting on two. Silencing up with the Skyrath Mage as well as the Faceless Void. But they've got the Chain Frost with the Fissure. The swap out. It's not going to be enough. They'll lose themselves. The Rubik as well as the Terrorblade. And uh, going to lose his life here. DDC on the run. The Arcane Bolt hits. Four heroes dead on the side of Team Root. And that is a one team fight from Ehome. Super, the only one getting away. And a 6,000 net worth lead here for the side of Ehome. And coming over is the side of Ehome. Faith Beyond Invis, they've got the Shadow Blade. Faith Beyond doesn't know what's coming, and it's right on to two of these heroes, but it's not going to be enough damage to kill off Faith Beyond. The Mystic Flare is laid down, but the Yules is there on the Sand King. So he survives it now. The Ice Calf comes to and so much damage done on it. Yao, he's dead immediately, and now he'll buy back. The Dream Coils through on to this Faceless Void. He doesn't really have a target to go after with the Satanic. He'll end up dying. He's dead for 95 seconds. They look over with the Rubik. The Yules is on to the Rubik as well as the Ice Path to lock him in. Terrorblade, what is he able to do? He looks over at Innocence, he looks over at Faith Beyond, who's coming in with the blink, and oh, not anything there for him! He ends up dying! Oh no! The chase is on even more with the Terrorblade moving forward. They look over at this Skyrath Mage, who's so low, super moving over the end. This is gonna keep him alive, they'll get the kill. Three heroes dead on the side of Ehome. Oh, there's the Ice Path, Ice Path coming in from Victoria, super doing enough damage to the Jakiro. The Yules is there, they've got Yahoo Ball Pack in the first part of this fight, and now they'll get the kill. It's four heroes dead with the buyback coming out from Jakiro. They look over top, they go for the tier 3, the Metamorphosis is still on, and the buyback also comes out from the Skywrath Mage. They could get another kill here on the ASD. That could be really, really big for the side of Team Root. The Mystic Flare laid down, look at the damage it's doing on the two of these heroes, but it's not enough. Yao and DDC are able to survive for now. The three heroes well on the side of Team Root, they need to try and leave. But they're looking for the tier 3 tower, and he's got himself that Sunder. There's the Ice Path, ice path laid down, the Telekinesis as well as the Stolen Ice Path onto this Skywrath Mage. They'll look for the kill, they get the kill. He's dead for two minutes, no buyback. He bought back to start this fight, and now they look over to the racks. Faceless Void, if he had buyback, he would have bought back by now, and they know that. They go after the set of racks, they'll look to take it down, but mm, they're worried. I want to go in too far. Ice Path, Fissure, locking in, and who still has the Sunder, but he just doesn't have the mana for it anymore. He does have to be really careful. Dream Coil laid down onto two. As they take the melee racks. Super does end up dying, but Team Root will take their leave. Oh, Faith Beyond. Spot Super. There's the Dream Coil with the Phase Shift. Ego comes over. Yeah, on the high ground. There's the Stone Ice Path onto the Faceless Void. If they have the control, they can get the kill here. The Frost Shield is going to be placed down on an Ego as well as the Waning Rift. That's going to silence him up. Macro Pyre, Mystic Flare, Chronosphere. It's a Lotosphere! This is a problem, and going after Ego, but he's going to be hit with a nice gaze from Lich to keep him controlled. They'll get the kill on Yao once again. Ego trying to keep himself alive. They'll end up losing Innocence. Now the Silence on to two with the Waning Rave coming out from Super on to two of these heroes. It's on the Jakiro as well as Faith Beyond. They look over at Ego. There's the Ice Path locking in, and there's the swap for DDC to keep their Terrible Blade alive. They've got the damage to look for this Venge. The Echo Slam laid down on the Super. That's going to be three kills on the side of Ehome, and the buyback immediately used by DDC. Now and needs to run. I believe he has that Sunder. He tried to turn to try and use it, but Ego continuing to chase. He can't chase too much further because DDC is back. There's the time walk all over towards Victoria with the Sinister Gaze. They'll get the kill. That's going to be four heroes dead on the side of Team Root. They look over with end. There's the Fissure with the swap once again from DDC to keep him alive. But Ego continuing to chase, looking over at DDC, who just bought back as well as Super. Four heroes had died in this fight for the side of Team Root. Only three had buyback. They immediately use it with the Dream Coil laid down with the Faceless Void. They look over with end, still trying to do enough damage and take out this Faceless Void. There's the Fissure on the DDC. They'll get the kill. Faith Beyond. Totem. No. Illusory Orb. He's gone. Oh, oh, here comes Team Root. They look over at Innocence. There it is. He gets away with a Frost Shield on top, and the BKB is going to be popped by ASD. And Yao, Super, all chasing. Nice Fissure coming in from Faith Beyond. He needs to jump through. The rest of the team is here. Ego behind you. You need to watch out. And there's the Mystic Four coming out on both of them. Is he able to survive with the Ice Panther and the Macro Pyre? The Swap! The Swap! Comes out on end. Now they've got the Sunder. He's alive for now, but they've already lost two of these heroes. The BKB is going to run out of time. It's only five seconds on the end on this Terrorblade. The Ice Path landing onto the Terrorblade as well as the Epicenter coming through from Yao. He had the end of this. That's why he's able to survive this time around. The Eagles is through on a Faith Beyond as well as Ego 
go looking forward on and he doesn't have Sunder. Once again, the Ice Path comes through on two heroes. He's able to lock him down. Faith Beyond getting low. Nobody dead on the side of E-Home just yet. They lose the Turbo and he's dead for 90 seconds and he has buyback. But Yao, he's getting chased by Ego. Earthshaker, he's gonna buy back and now Ego gets the double kill. Four heroes dead on the side of Team Root and this is looking like it's gonna seal the deal for E-Home. Able to really get in onto the next fight if there is a next fight. That Team Root are able to take the Illusory Orb comes over. They get a Spot Roche being taken to about half health. Super has Illusory Orb in six. It might time out right. Three seconds left. They're looking for the epicenter. There's the Burrow Strike. And I talked about Yao not being able to do anything. But now he comes in with the Burrow Strike. There's the Faceless One getting the corner sphere on the two of these heroes. The Mystic Flare drop down. BKB is going to be popped by ASD. But and he's got a lot of damage. The Echo Swipe comes through. It's not going to be anybody dead on Team Root just yet. Yao pulled away. Looking over at Eagle. He'll take down the Aegis. His Roche has been killed. They'll get the first life. They're looking for more. Faith Beyond lost his first life. He's going to be dead for two minutes without buyback. They look over at Eagle with the Ice Path laid down by the Rubik. They've got the Yules locking him in. BKB gets popped. Chain Frost bouncing around. Not gonna be enough. The ice path laid down by this Jiang Jakiro. And still the chase is on. They've got the telekinesis, the frost shield onto Ego. Ice path laid out from Victoria. Once again, the Mystic Flare doing a little bit of damage and look for the kill. They give it the barrel strike coming in from Yao. And now they'll find the Sunder. Chronosphere on the three. Looks like it could be good for Ego. They'll get the kill on the super and they'll look over it. And the oh no, they don't get him with the swap coming up from DDC. So and able to survive for now, but he doesn't have the Sunder. The Macro is gonna be laid down with the nice ice path coming in again from Jiang. And he needs to pop that Mantis style trying to run there. The nice Yules keeping him close with the Mystic Flare. They'll get the kill. He's there for two minutes. Super ball back with DDC. They're trying to run and Victoria ends up dying. ASD's got himself a double kill. They've lost the Jakiro, they've lost the Earthshaker. For 92 seconds, Ehome, they need to be careful at how they approach this. The Burl Strike comes through as well as the Illusory Orb. Does he have the Dream Coil? He does with the Ags. They're ready to go if Ego goes in a little bit too deep. He doesn't have the Corner Sphere this time around. They look over the top set of Rex. ASD moving back. Jam on the ground, looking over at Ego. They've got the Courier coming through. That's going to drop off the Mjolnir. And now Yao trying to make a movement with the Dream Coil as well as the Waiting Rift. That's going to silence up the Lich. They've got the silence though onto the Puck. Trying to get the kill with the Mystic Flare. It's laid down. Now the Sinister Gaze comes through. Yao in a lot of trouble. The Chain Frost bouncing around. They got the kill with the Puck as well as the Sega. They look over to DDC. He's dead. Four heroes gone. No buyback on I either of them. And this is Team Root. Oh boy. Down to Tier 4s. Looking at the Ancient. They'll have Terrorblade in 46. I don't know if they're going to last that long. Trying to get the kill on the ASD, but it's just this Rubik. BKB is popped. They look over the other tier four. They've already taken out one. Terribly in 36. Glyph not available. This puck has the gem. You have to be careful, but they've got the telekinesis. And now with the stone gaze into the supernova, he'll go. But there's the chronosphere onto the Medusa. The swap out immediately by DDC. Super trying to hit away at old chicken. Trying to bring this game back for the side of Team Root. But there's the RP. This could be it. This could be the moment that they need for Team Root. Oh. Maybe they get old chicken. They'll take him out. He's got no buyback. They took out the tier three over bottom, so this could turn into much more. You look over at old 11. He's on the run. This stony loser orb coming on over. There's the token. He's just out on the board, trying to throw it down onto old 11, but won't find it. He actually ends up losing his life, so Victoria's dead. And now they look with the Medusa, the skewer, back into super with a TP attempt out, and he's gone. They move on over. There's the Chronosphere attempt. That lands on to Super, but there's the Telekinesis. They've already taken out Victoria, who's going to immediately buy back the Stone Gaze. It comes through. There's the Primal Roar, the swap by DDC. And now they need to get the Skewer out as the Waning Rift is through on to Yao and the Supernova locking them in. But disarmed is this Medusa. The Egg will pop, stunning up the Medusa. They'll get the kill into the Beastmaster. That's going to be done by End, who, by the way, is just fighting against Old Chicken, doing the damage. But there's the time. We'll get the Sunder coming through, but the Dragon comes in. And the Puck's not going to do enough damage. End's finally dead, but four heroes gone already on Key Gaming. The buyback comes out from the Terrible. They look over at Kaka. Full team wipe by Team Root. Oh, my God. Swap is going to be there on the DDC from Yao, and there we go, the look for the Supernova, but it's not going to be enough, the Chronosphere, the Chronosphere comes in from Old Chicken, this could be enough, Old Eleven looking to get a kill on DDC, Super getting low, he'll end up falling, two heroes there, they both have buyback, and Key Gaming, they're pulling their way back into this one, but meanwhile, take a look at the bottom racks, it's gone, the melee racks and the range racks over mid are both gone here, and Key Gaming, they somehow take this fight with all the buybacks being expended, and they're trying to hold for Super on Team Root. 
No RP. How do you even fight into this? There's the Dream Coil immediately coming out. And now the Uzuru Orb over. But a huge skewer! Huge skewer! That's gonna come through with the Stone Gaze coming in. The Supernova is gonna be used. But they're so far away. Metamorphosis with the BKB. There's a the Corner Sphere coming in from Old Chicken the Swap from DDC. And now you've got the Corner Sphere on the sidelines. You're trying to get the kill on the side of Team Root. But King Gaming, they've already lost the Beastmaster. They're all gonna lose more. Old Chicken gets the time walk off. Nobody dead on the side of Team Root just yet. Super continuing to chase. We're gonna Dark the Frost Shield. The skewer from Meow again! The skewer from Meow again! They also get old chicken. The buybacks come out from both these heroes and key gaming. Oh my god, this game is even Roshan's down the ages picked up by end and here we go team root to bring it back.